Hello boys and girls, welcome back to Miss Orm's story time. Today I've got a story which is set in a part of the world called Africa. Now, I love African culture and one of the things I like most about African culture is the beautiful fabrics and the beautiful colours that people wear. So today I've got some African fabric that I'm wearing and on my head. So see if you can spot some different African fabric and different clothes in our story today. So our story today is called Giant Hiccups. Once at the top of a huge hill stood a small town where many people lived and worked. At the bottom of the hill loomed an enormous dwelling where a giant lived. The giant was called Aisha. She never bothered the townspeople but spent her days quietly she made cups and plates, pots and pans. She made rainbow lollipops and pineapple jam. Suddenly, one day the ground shook and a dreadful noise filled the air. It sounded like a hundred dinosaurs falling out of bed. <laughs> the small town on the hill trembled it shuddered and shook. In the houses, everything rattled. One young man wobbled crazily along the road on his bicycle. <laughs> the children in school held onto their tables to stop them falling over. Books flew. <laughs> the statue of the mayor fell off its pedestal People hurried from everywhere and met in the square. What can it be? they called. What's happening? they cried. It's an earthquake, said some. We have to get to the top of the hill, said the parents taking charge. They all joined hands and began to walk down the hill. <laughs> they all slid head, head over heels right down to the bottom of the hill Wee! shouted the children. It's a slide. <clears throat> Suddenly there was another ground shaking <gasps> and the giant came out of her house. Hey, you up there, the mail carrier cried. You're creating a terrible disturbance. Stop it at once. Our homes are on the hill, shouted one of the townspeople. Your hiccuping is destroying our town. said the giant apologetically. Perhaps we should give her a drink of water, suggested one old lady. Look, 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 look. I should drank it all up. <laughs> Let's give her a fright, the base baker whispered to the mail carrier. The mail carrier whispered to the lady next to him. The children whispered to each other. They passed it on until everyone knew what to do. Boo! They all shouted in their loudest voices. <laughs> said the giant. Miss Wiggins, the school teacher, made a suggestion. Try holding your breath for as long as you can, she called up to the giant. Aisha held her breath and held it and held it and held it for so long she had to breathe out with a gigantic. <sighs> I wish I brought my count. Kate laughed, laughed Tundi. But, <laughs> said the giant sadly. No one knew what to do next. Then some children from Miss Wiggins' class put up their hands. Maybe she's hungry, said Cara Louise. I get hiccups sometimes when I'm hungry, agreed Pen. <laughs> said the giant. We might as well try your idea, said Mrs Wiggins. All the townspeople scrambled off in different directions. Some collected wood from the forest to make a huge fire. Others went to the fields and collected vegetables. The fire brigade poured water into Aisha's pot. Aisha poured her in her favourite spices and tried very hard not to hiccup too loudly. Delicious! Thank you! Then everyone noticed something. The hiccuping had stopped. Suddenly, there was a tiny 
Oh, Ben, are you ready for lunch? said Aisha. Making giant vegetable stew is a hungry business. I'm sure there's enough to share. And there was. The end. Thank you, boys and girls, for listening. Hope to see you soon.